Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and in this tutorial I will show you how you can import pre-rigged and pre-animated characters into Blender, and then how to render them in Eevee. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by going to the Adobe Mixamo website, and you can sign up there for free. This is not a sponsored video, by the way, and I'm just using my Adobe Cloud Student account. And then you can choose from a, a lot of different characters. So let's start off by looking at the characters and then we can animate them with uh, the uh, pre-animated rigs. So uh, let's go to characters. As you can see, there are a lot of fantasy characters and there are also some um, kind of realistic characters that you can use for uh, more uh, serious scenes. And then you can choose from a lot of animations. And as you can see, there are both uh, dances and uh, running animations and so on. So you have everything you need. And this can be really useful for spicing up your scenes in Blender. And as you can see, there are 26 pages of pre-made animations. And there are two pages of uh, characters. So uh, let's uh, select uh, one of them. So let's choose the uh, peasant girl, for example, and then select one of the animations and then import it into Blender. So uh, let's choose one of the uh, dance animations and uh, just select this one, for example. And in the settings, you can trim the animation. So either make it longer or shorter. So I'm going to make it uh, slightly longer. And then we can download the file. So uh, just click download. And I recommend using the uh, default FBX file format. And we can keep it at uh, 30 FPS. And then click download to download the file. And once the file is downloaded, we can go back to Blender and import the file. Let's go to Blender and then press X to delete the default cube. And then go to File, Import, and then FBX. And then select the download. And then open. And once the file is uh, loaded, you will see the mesh, the rig, and the animation. So let's go into render view. And this is what it looks like in Eevee. And uh, let's uh, make the background completely white. And then let's select the light and turn it into a sun. Let's set the strength to uh, 15 and press R to rotate the sun. And as you can see, we have proper lighting. So uh, now let's add a uh, plane below it. So we get a floor, so press Shift A, and then add a plane, and then press S to scale. And then the next step is to set up the camera. So press numpad 0 to look through the camera. And then press N. And uh, then lock the camera to view. You can use the middle mouse button to uh, look around. And as you can see, there are uh, 1231 frames in this animation. So let's set the end frame to 1231. And I also try to make sure that everything is within the frame of the camera throughout the animation. And then I'm going to move the camera slightly. You can press G to grab the camera. And then let's go into render settings, turn on ambient occlusion. And uh, then let's also enable screen space reflections and refraction. And for shadows, I like to set the size to 64 pixels to increase the quality. And um, 
I think everything looks nice. So uh, let's add a subdivision surface modifier as well to increase the number of polygons. It makes her slightly more skinny, but uh, I think that's okay. And uh, let's set it back to zero for the viewport. We can also edit the materials for the uh, mesh. So let's go into the material. And you can change the uh, metallic value. And you can also play around with the roughness value. So just experiment and find the material settings that you like. Okay, so uh, let's go back to the uh, render settings. And I'll set the number of samples to uh, 100, both for the render and the viewport, which should be enough. And then for the output settings, I will set the resolution to uh, 4K. You can just leave it at 100 if you just want 1080p. And um, then we can use the AVR JPEG file format for the render because this is in Eevee and it will render fast. So I'm just going to save and then it can render. 